If you're a serious Catholic who is concerned about the state of affairs in the church and you have a knack for the great outdoors, then please consider spending a fall vacation with churchmilitant.tv at the Flying Bee Ranch. The Flying Bee Ranch offers some of the most beautiful scenery west of the Mississippi. While being strengthened in the faith through a series of conferences from Michael Voris, you'll also have plenty of time to breathe that mountain air while horseback riding, fishing, or bird hunting. So please, click the link to register today, and we'll see you out there at the Flying Bee Ranch. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. London Mayor Boris Johnson says children may be taken by the state if their parents support major political parties. Johnson says that this would stop children from becoming, quote, potential killers and suicide bombers, end quote. In 2012, a couple's foster child was removed because the parents were members of the UK Independence Party that was deemed to be racist by the council because it opposes the active promotion of multiculturalism. This from Johnson just weeks after a law was passed in Scotland that designates a state guardian to every child in the country up to the age of 18. A follow-up to yesterday's story on Fishermore College, where the local bishop forbid the TLM to be said. Dr. Taylor Marshall, former chancellor of the college, broke his silence today explaining why he resigned along with five other board members. Dr. Marshall said the president of Fishermore refused to dissociate himself from statements a faculty member made, saying that Vatican II isn't a valid council and other pr problematic statements as well. He also mentioned a bad real, real estate deal, selling the original campus to Texas Christian University, wound up financially crippling the college. In addition, the author of a blog for Dallas area Catholics reported that a suspended priest was allowed to say mass at the college during Thanksgiving last year. The author's blog post stated that it's not that the bishop hates the TLM. The Archbishop of Mumbai is asking the faithful to go on a carbon fast this Lent to reduce pollution. The Most Reverend Gar Gracias says, We will make various suggestions each day concerning the simplest tasks, like how to limit power use and recycle, to moderately difficult ones such as washing with cold water and driving more slowly. We shall also propose long-term steps like buying local products and growing vegetable gardens for our community." End quote. The bishop says he is doing this in response to Pope Francis's call to protect creation at the start of his pontificate. The U.S. Supreme Court determined Monday that a German family who came to America back in 2008 to homeschool their children with Christian beliefs when their own country forbid it will be deported by the Obama administration. The Supreme Court refused to hear the family's appeal, and the head of the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, who represented the family, responded saying, quote, the Obama administration's attitude toward religious freedom, particularly religious freedom for Christians, is shocking. I have little doubt that if this family had been of some other faith, that the decision would have never been appealed in the first place. It would have let this family stay, end quote. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the Pope's speech to the bishops. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Hi there, Church Militant TV supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to churchmilitant.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilitant.tv. God love you.